Hey everybody. Well, I've been doing some more experimenting, and this time it's with my butternut squash. I uh, I like sharing these things with you because it's everything I do is for self-sustainability and it's first-hand information. So uh, we always just used to uh, freeze ours, and uh, so I want to learn how to preserve it without freezing. And uh, in my shop, there's uh, no air conditioning in there, but there's a, a concrete floor. And so in the uh, summertime, it might get up to 80, but we harvested this... Uh, butternut squash at the end of July last year and so it starts cooling off in this area in September and uh, it's lasted eight months and uh, I laid it in sawdust or wood chips so I don't know if that helped or not but uh, I had the first one spoil and, and it took eight months for it to do it and it's not it's not uh, air conditioned or anything in there, but it, but it's insulated. My shop's insulated good, and I just laid it in there. And every now and then I would roll it a 180, and it worked out real well. There was still light in there. I don't know, you know. I'll work on it a little more uh, to see if I can get it to last longer. But what I want to do is I want to have two crops a year. And then I can have butternut squash year round. So uh, I'll take you in there in my shop and I'll show you how I preserve these uh, this squash. You notice the color compared to, to this one? This is a lot browner. When they start doing that, see it's starting to get spots on it. So this is what I'm this I'm gonna eat this one next. And this was here. I don't probably have to cut that out, but that one, those marks were already on it, so you only want to store your best. Even though that's probably still good. But this one and this one's turning brown. You can see this one here is real soft. And that's the original color. But all that, all that's spoiled now. So, and it's been eight months. So I'll plant some in the spring and in the fall, and hopefully with this method I can keep uh, butternut squash year-round. So the temperature never got any higher than 80, and it fluctuates between 80 and 50 in here. And I might build some wood crates and just put a layer of sawdust in there because, like I said, when it was laying here, I would just turn it 180. And uh, it's usually dark in here, but then uh, probably 20 hours out of the week, I have the light on. But uh, I'll leave these, these three right here. And then I'm going to cook. These two. Yeah, all these are pretty clean, see. I'm going to leave them there. And this one too. I'm going to cook these two and throw this one out. But I was real happy with the uh, results from laying in this sawdust. I don't know if that helps or not. But, uh... And then rolling them too. So I'm happy to share with you and uh, good luck putting your butternut squash up. Another thing too is as the longer these sit, the sweeter they get. And uh, I was real happy about that too because we always ate it and it would probably wasn't completely right so 
even after a few months, we could notice the difference in the taste after they set. So that was another uh, good reason not to freeze them. But we, I won't be freezing them anymore. Another thing, I don't know how important it is, you know, to leave the stem on there, but it doesn't hurt to, this one wasn't hurt, but it doesn't hurt to leave them on there. But I just want to show you, if you want to store them and, and it did get cut short, it'd be okay. Here's what these squash look like that the uh, skin had turned brown and lost that tan color and uh, you can see they dried out in the center here but they cleaned up pretty good and they're still moist and they smell great so if uh, they've lost some of their flavor which I doubt if they have then uh, I may cut it back to six months for where I'm uh, storing them here in this uh, in this environment. But uh, I sure do like it now that we're not freezing them and we're getting the full flavor of the squash. I might cut it back to six months at the most for where I'm storing it. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right, then. We appreciate y'all watching.